Absolutely, it's heavy. <laughs> it is an antique 1980s television. This is back from when television was furniture. I love it. <laughs> well, this is, this is my first computer. This is a computer that my parents had the foresight to buy me when I was 11 years old. It gave me a curiosity about mathematics and physics, which has never really gone away. Today, I'm going to talk about the number 15. And I want to tell you that if you're a computer geek like me, um, we don't really think of the number 15 as 15. We think of it as the letter F. I'm going to tell you why. Right, oh, you've got to get this sound. This just makes such a fantastic switch on sound. Isn't that satisfying? So all I'm going to do is write a short piece of code that makes the computer count. I'm rather pleased with myself, but I can still remember how to do this. Ta-da! <laughs> so all I'm doing is just counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then something rather odd happens. And instead of counting to 10, the computer switches to A, B, C, D, E, F, and then 10, 11, 12, 13. And again, it happens at 19, 1A, 1B, C, D, E, F, 20. How bizarre. I was baffled. I was 11 years old, and we used to have to wait for games to load from cassettes. And when they loaded, they would count. And that would take maybe 10 minutes. And so I would be watching these numbers count very patiently, waiting to play Pac-Man or Tetris or whatever game I was playing that day, um, and wondering precisely why it wasn't just getting on with it and getting to 10. You know, why did it have to go through? It felt like torture, because I wanted to play the game. Like, get on with it, count to 10. But no, we had to go A through F, first of all. So what we need to remember is that computers don't count the way you and I count on our fingers. They count on lines uh, representing ones and zeros, binary numbers. So what I want to show you is just four lines, first of all, and the number zero, the number one, the number two, number three, and then I'm going to skip a few. Down here, we're going to go to the number 14 and the number 15. OK, so there's quite a few numbers in between, which we've skipped over for brevity. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 14, 15. And, and I have to stop there. I have to stop there because we've, we've run out of numbers. If I, if I try and count to a higher number, that means that's got to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. But I don't have space for this one here. And so we can't count to a number bigger than 15 on four bits. The thing is, if you want to understand the underlying ones and zeros that's going on in the computer, then I need to be able to very quickly say, what is this number? Um, and this number, unfortunately, bears very little relationship to the decimal value. So, for example, the number 9, this is the number 9 for a computer. So the number 11, that's the number 11. Okay, or uh, the number 6, for example, would be 0, 1, 1, 0, that's number 6. So what we do instead is we count in a thing called hexadecimal. This is base 16. So if we had 16 fingers, then we would have come up with numbers sufficient to go from 1 to 16. But because we only have 10 fingers, we only have 10 digits for counting. And so instead of using just more digits, we use letters to replace the missing digits. So let's start at the number 8, and we'll work our way through. So the number 8 is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0. That's 8. The number 9, 1, 0, 0, 1, that's 9. And then the number 10, that's 10. Now notice that in decimal, we've had to go into a new column for the number 10. But if we're working in hexadecimal, then this is 8, 9, and then this becomes the letter A. And then 11, that's 11 and it's the letter B. Then we're just going to skip to the end, and it's going to be 1, 1, 1, 1, which is the number 15, or, in our case, the letter F, our magic number. 
Okay, this is magic because it allows us as programmers to very quickly see what's going on with the binary numbers, the electronics inside the computer. So in an 8-bit computer, we've got two sets of 4-bit sets. So the number 0 becomes 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Two lots of 4 bits. Now, this, this set can be represented by one hexadecimal digit, the letter 0. And just to let you know that it's hexadecimal, I'm just going to write an X in front of it. And this lot can similarly be represented by the hexadecimal number 0. So this is 10, and this is 10. But in hexadecimal, we can still represent this by a single character. This becomes A, and this becomes A. In hexadecimal, our number is A, A, with a little x in front of it just to tell you that it's a hexadecimal number. So I'm going to skip to the crux of the issue, and that is the top number that we can store in an 8-bit value, which of course is simply 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. What number is that? And that number is, so this is F, this is F, so we've got the hexadecimal number FF, which is equal to 255, which is the highest value that an 8-bit computer can store. Okay, now of course, modern computers aren't simply 8 bits long. Uh, recently 32 bits, or you can go out and you can buy a top-end 64-bit computer. So I want to show you the highest number in very shorthand notation that a 32-bit computer can store. Here we go. FF, 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 FF. So 8 bits, 16 bits, 24 bits, 32 bits. Now I'll write that in binary. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. I'm going to have to put a few on the front. And that is the binary number 11111111111111111. You get the idea. It's a big number. And that's why we don't use binary. We use hexadecimal values. Obviously, if I wanted to write a really big number down, it's just too much pen and ink. So we don't use the binary. Um, we don't use decimal because, well, this number, it's not 65,000. It's approximately 4 billion. This has no relationship to 4 billion. There's no obvious way to tie the two things together. But when we're using the hexadecimal numbers, each character is simply tied to a block of four binary values. So this character represents the first four, this character the next four. And so it's very easy to just walk along understanding the number in human readable chunks.